Now we're going to make a 15 pound turkey using the rotisserie. And what I love about the rotisserie is you don't need any seasoning. You don't have to baste it. The skin comes out crunchy and the meat comes out juicy. We can get this open. We sterilized our sink. So we're going to pull the plastic piece out after we pull out the neck and the giblet packet. I throw the giblets on the bottom of the rotisserie and they cook up and I give them to the dogs afterwards. Pull that plastic piece out. We're going to start by tying off the feet. They sell ties or rubber bands you can use. I just use stainless steel wire. I find it works pretty good. go I put a tie around the wings she don't want them flapping while it's inside that rotisserie get them nice and tight Whatever's left over, you can just chop off. She don't want these wires hanging in there. And then I put one around the legs. And there we go. And we're gonna take our spigot, our spit, and run it right through the middle of the breast from the, the top side. I'm gonna try to get this thing as centered as possible. So when it comes out the back end. Make sure that you get it out around the hips. That, that looks pretty good. Season it if you want. As the skin comes out so good, like it is, uh, I just don't bother putting anything on it. All right, there we go. You see how about in the center? I'm gonna go ahead and move it on over to the rotisserie. All right, we got this super old rotisserie. I bet I've had this thing for over 20 years. I keep saying I'm gonna buy a new one, but I never do because this one still works. So we're just gonna slide it right on in. That's a fair fast time. 
tuck them legs in there. You don't want it hitting that element in the back. It says to cook it for 12 minutes a pound. We got a 15 pound turkey. So we're gonna cook it for three hours. I mean, just like they say, you set it and forget it. And we'll come back halfway through and let you see how she's cooking up. All right, we got about an hour left. We've been cooking for about two hours. You can see it's golden brown getting there. Oh, that skin's gonna be so crispy. So delicious. Not bad for a 20 year old rotisserie. Sure, you hear this big dog jumping around. Come here, Tyson. There he is. That's the man right there. You want some of that turkey? Tell him you want some turkey. Alright. Alright, our rotisserie turkey's almost done. See, it's got that good color on it. The built in timer's popped up. We're just going to wait for it to rotate backside down because it's so much easier to get backside down. I find that if you use a little pan, it makes it easier to get it out. You're going to want two pie holders for sure. This thing will burn the mess out of you. Make sure everybody's out of the way when you pick it up. Just lift straight up. It should come straight out. Check that bad dude out. I'm gonna take over and carve it up. All right, once you pull it out of the rotisserie, you get it over to your counter. You pull your spit out. With it super hot, so you can't mess around or it will burn you. We're going to start off by cutting our ties. Fine, if you do use a stainless steel, you just take a fork, wrap it around a couple times, and she'll pull right on out. Your favorite part of this turkey is going to be the skin. Top one. Really cooked in there. Alright, you can hear how crispy it is. As you can hear, I've garnered the attention of the dog. He must think he's going to get some of this or something. He's going to get some of this. He knows what's up. Get us a plate. Plate this up on. Let's see how tender this bird is. Yep. The legs just rip right on out of it.
You want to save that skin? Everybody's going to fight over that. It's the best part. Ain't much carbon involved when it comes to the legs and thighs. You can just pull them and they come right off. Yeah, look at that. Here's the part everybody wants. Look at that timer. So juicy. Chicken breast, so moist. Get straight down. Right to the wing. The wings are so crunchy. So delicious. And that's all there is to it. Best turkey you'll ever make is in a rotisserie. Doesn't matter if it's brand new or 20 years old. The skin's gonna be crispy. The white meat's gonna be juicy. Makes for really good sandwiches the next day too. If you don't have a rotisserie, go get you one. You'd be glad you did. Who wants a gizzard? Yeah. It was a good gizzard, huh? Oh, here comes the cat. She wants some gizzard, too.